Hi everybody, Regina here from Online Plants NT and today I'm just going to show you how to prune your cordyline plant. Cordylines usually grow a single stem but when you prune them you encourage multi stems and to be honest they look much better when they're multi stemmed especially when they're very tall. So it's simple as, so this is one that I have that's in a pot, it's pretty tall. So I'll slip it up here. So usually about two hands from the base, you can just prune it like this. So pruning this cordyline line should encourage it to throw up two new side shoots. So I'll just put it to the side. So what to do with the head? So it's pretty long, so we should get maybe two cuttings out of this. So I'll just take off some of the lower foliage. So one, two, my prune is gone. I'm gonna prune that around there. And could prune this. So you only want to prune it where it's hard. You don't want to prune it where the wood is soft. So now we've got one, two, three new cuttings. So what I'm going to do with these is some people plant them directly into the ground and that's great if your soil is good and it's getting watered regularly. But if not, and just to get a better strike rate, what you do is get a pot with soil and just stick them. Here's one, two, three, back into a pot. So I'll just give you a closer shot of that. So this will just give the plants a better strike rate. So in a few weeks, our old plants should have new shoes and it'll be a lot bushier. And then we can do the same with these new plants as they get much bigger. You can use this method of pruning with dracaenas, so the same, just prune them and replant them into the ground. It's as simple as that.